everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. It has gotten back to being cold and frigid, and it's supposed to rain again all day, so I need to get outside. I wanted to test out that little mini chainsaw on some of the limbs outside, so I want to show you that. And, of course, check the chickens. i got to do some stuff with the water. I don't know if I'll show you that, but, um, well, let's just get going. Oh, my goodness, it is freezing out here. Well, first thing I'm going to try is that little bit of shrubbery down there. It's pretty thin. Let's see how it does. All right, let's see. You know what? I should have I should have uh, tightened the chain. I didn't tighten the chain, but I'm going to see if I'll, I'll still be able to do it. All right, here we go. Let's just do a little one first. Oh my goodness. It goes right through it. Remember this tree, you guys? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna start with some of the smaller ones first and see how I do. You know what? It might be better if I move the camera over here. Hopefully, Papa won't knock it over. All right. Let's see how this goes. Let me just get out some of these. And this is why you tighten your chain beforehand, because if you don't, it's going to come off. I mean, it's basically come off the back part here. So I'll just have to undo this and put it back on, and then I'm going to tighten it. Had a conversation with my son about it, and he said, the thing says when you're holding it like this, you should only be able to see one, two, three teeth. That would be almost like that. My son said, if you can slip more than a dime through it, then it's too loose. So I think this is all I'm going to test for today. But you know what? It It's going to be able to get through those bigger ones, no problem. Those there, I'm just going to figure out how to put this back together and use it again another day. Um, I also wanted to show my son. He asked about whether or not there was a reservoir to put oil. And I'm not seeing one. I'm not seeing one. Not at all. Not at all. Am I holding this okay? Nope. I'm not seeing one. I don't know. Does it go in there? Not sure. Not sure. I know that I tighten it. Where do I tighten it from? There's a little place where there's a little screw that I'd have to tighten. 
oh well, it's in the instructions, I'll figure it out. But it doesn't look like there is anywhere to add oil. Anyway, I'm just going to take it inside, fix it, uh, recharge it, because I used it actually quite a bit before I did this little test today, and it's starting to run down on batteries. But even so, you could see it went right through that limb, and I am confident it's going to go through these two. You know what else I was thinking of? I did not have the protective gear on me. I need to do that next time because that stuff was flying up at my face. That was stupid. I can't believe I forgot to put that on. So next time I do it, I'm definitely, definitely going to put that on. All right, what next? These two would play all day like this if they could. This little white girl here, Judy, she gets into trouble. And she likes to go up underneath the tiny house and as you can see it is very very damp back there so I just moved some buckets over here so she couldn't get into it and put some bamboo stakes down there um, bamboo is very very useful because I don't want her getting up underneath of that tiny house and getting all muddy and whatnot and the other side I've just blocked off with some buckets and whatnot so yep if springtime comes I'm gonna remove this because I want my lilies to be able to grow look at that that is the garlic chives that I cut back totally and they are they keep coming back those are the walking onions more walking onions over here oh and look at these walk uh, not walking onions garlic chives they've totally grown back very very hardy over the winter so yeah I need to go cover up those other plants though because the chickens will pick them to part yeah my little walkway that I created with cardboard is not holding up I'm gonna have to get some stepping stones eventually um, because this area is just a muddy, muddy, muddy mess. Oh, and remember this little uh, water filter that I made? Uh, when it rains, I just let it go directly down into there. So when I wake up in the morning, the bucket is usually filled and it's filtered water. Now, I still don't drink this. I'll just put it in the big blue thing on the inside and then filter it through the Berkey for drinking purposes. But at least it makes it clean enough for washing and whatnot. Other than that, you guys, I think I'm just going to move some wood around. I need to bring some wood on the inside. Um, I need to clean my kitchen. That's boring. You don't need to, to watch that. That kitchen is a constant struggle. Um, I need to get rid of a few things that are just laying around in the tiny house, bring them out to the shed. Just kind of get reorganized because if you don't stay organized in a, in a structure this small, it's going to get out of control. It's going to just get too messy and you're not going to like living in your space. So it's best to keep it nice and tidy. Definitely time to clean out the wood burning stove. Got plenty of biochar in here, but likely I will just dump this all either in the compost bin or maybe the Hugo Culture garden bed or the chicken bath. You know what? I'm going to put this in the garden bed. It's got way too much biochar, and I'm not going to harvest any of it right now. So, yeah, let me just get this cleaned out so that I can have a nice fire tonight. That's better. I just put a few big pieces of charcoal in there. Sometimes I put this up here if I'm not burning a fire. If I am burning a fire, of course, I take it off. This is how I've arranged this little area over here. You might think that that basket is too close, but it's not because by the time it gets out to here, it's not that hot at all. And yeah, this is what I've been using for my ash bucket, but looks like I'm going to have to fix something down there. There's a little hole in it. My goodness. I've got some duct tape. That's no problem. So yeah, this is all working out really well. And I put more wood over there. I'm going to get some more wood, stack it up here, put a bunch underneath it there. I need to sweep that out. Um, this welder's blanket, I am not going to keep it underneath of here. I'm just going to pull it up and double it up behind this thingy uh, because I really don't need it underneath. And this right here has been working absolutely fantastic, but even more fantastic than that is my smiley face fire screen. It's 11 a.m., so you know what time it is. It is chicken time. Hey, chickens, come on out. Get yourself some, some nummies, some oats, a little bit of corn, Grotera black soldier fly larva which they love. Hopefully Judy won't try and get up underneath the fence and eat my chickens. And as always, Papa's just chilling out over here. He's so chill. Moment of truth. Time to go find eggs. Oh, it doesn't matter what I do. They're always gonna mess up that water thing. Okay, Ooh, they all four, four laid right here. There's nothing, nothing in the top one. Let's go to the back nesting box. Nope. 
I think I'm just gonna leave her be, let her do her thing. She's been in there for about 20 minutes now. Sometimes I just like to go in there and sit, so I'm gonna gather some wood, put it up on the porch, and um, I don't know what else. <laughs> go in and clean the kitchen, I guess. <sighs> well, Coco finally came out, so let's go see if she did anything for us. All right, hold on. No, I gotta put this up because Papa, <laughs> You come join me in the chicken yard. All right. Whoops. Excuse me, girls. All right, Coco. Let's see if you did anything. Did you? Did you? Oh, she did. Two brown eggs, guys. Today, two brown eggs. Looks like she's laying the bigger ones. And the littler ones, who knows? Maybe Roxy. Maybe the other one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Good girl, Coco. She's right back there. Look at that, that's a pretty nice sized brown egg. I hit a record today, five eggs total, two brown eggs, three white eggs. So it looks like maybe just one more hen needs to get on the schedule of daily. And honestly, I was talking to Mr. Lucas about this the other day. It's the winter time, so it's a wonder. Are you peeing, Papa? No, he's just watching. Um, it's a wonder we're getting any eggs at all. And both of us are at least getting one egg a day. Usually I get three, he gets one or two. So I think we're doing really great. This is restocked. I might go grab a few more logs to put in there. I think I can fit a couple more in. But there's holes all over this, so there's plenty of airflow. I'm gonna leave it open today. Got me some more kindling wood and whatnot. Some little, you know, small pieces like this. I honestly don't think I'm gonna get any more eggs today. They're all out in the yard. So yep, chickens. Follow me. I'll let you out. Yes, I will. You know what's going to happen next. Come on. You got your freedom. Freedom. There you go. Are they going to go left or right today? I'm trying to get them to not go left all the way to my neighbor's property because they're getting way far over towards the next property and they got a bunch of loose dogs over there that are mean. But it's just their habit. They always go this way. Over next door. That's why I give them so many eggs. I think I'm just going to kind of cut this video here and just do a few things uh, because it still might rain today. I don't know. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. <laughs>